What's up, Vijay here? We're going to some more Charles Cold Steel. What happened last time? Well, you tested out the bike and the sidecar. With Toa? Yeah. Yeah. And then you need to take the swing this with the girls. Which I thought was one of the best, one of the best, I uh, like, you know, one of the best uh, things I've seen in this game so far. Now you're going to visit the old schoolhouse. Yeah, this 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 old schoolhouse so creeps me out. What's this thing? Let me see how that. Yeah, if you want, you can pause the video and read that. The same thing all the time. Yeah. Okay, who are you asking about? Right, you have to keep them in here. So a million and crow. Yeah. Uh, let's fight right, Eustace and uh, Emma. And? Oh, and uh, Laura. I thought you were right, Lisa. No, next time, next time I will. Okay. Why? Did you, should, I, should I invite Lisa? I'm just saying. I'll tell you later. Huh? So, what is this? It looks like inside. And you say, you say weird stuff happens in the air every month. Yeah, just like I told you yesterday. This will be our fifth trip in, in and we might have, more, have no more of an idea of what we might find down there. Yeah, it's very tiny work from back here. Yeah, the last one. True, coming across the massive bread door was all together unexpected. The whole thing out of brain sister is the hood very insistent Jeffrey as well. Yeah. I'm glad she was alright. Huh? Nobody told me about that. Anyway, let's do the other business. So I I kind of you, you if the things get rough down here there. Oh uh, chances are I'll need it. Alright, let's go. I like Crow, he's cool. I'm just saying, if someone's bond is higher than Elisa's, you end up with him, not Elisa. Okay. You can change your party now if you want. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> uh, let's do what Lisa in there, and then let's go with, uh... Uh, let's go Gaia Sanawa. There we go. That's what I've Really? Yeah, best because it levels are the highest. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I like guys though, he's cool. This floor is lit off on the, on the display. Guess, guess that means we should be able to send to the next level now. Oh, oh let me see! <laughs> what kind of... is it a mechanism? Yeah. Is that what work here? Even though all these months I can't, I can't make heads or tails of it. Huh? Oh, it's on short stack. <laughs> Something bugging you? Well, uh, uh, sorry, I have no clue what this how this thing works. I did figure you would. Anyway, let, let's head on down. We come this far, might as well see what the new floor has in store for us. Oh yeah, let, let me get a piece of that action. So this is four or five. Seems so. There's a strange sort of presence lingering in the air here too. Right, so I'm the level above. The high elements seem to be affected here as well. Same old song and dance then. Huh? So is it the same that of the ancient quarry back in Nord? That's so cool, you see stuff like that though. stuff like that though? No, it's it's even cooler, being able to control the dry sewer thing you've got. Good point. <laughs> really? Let me? <laughs> Alright, we've got some exploring to do. <laughs> you guys just leave this to me and let me. We'll, we'll smash through anything. <laughs> We're counting on you then. There's a good chance to get used to find together. Maybe even try some comment links. Yay! Hey, even with the dark old place to can't surprise millions it's the first million of enthusiast enthusiasm. Hey, if it's the everyone being on edge, ready to jump in anything, right? Anyway, I'm ready to roll. Alright, careful down there everyone. It's 
It's time to begin our investigation. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna lean this out. That was easy. I mean, I know you guys don't really want to see that, so that's why I edited it out. I mean, like, it's not really important. I only show the boss, boss fights. Because I know they're important. That was way too easy. Okay, we're going the right way. Yeah. Oh crap, what is that thing? So I ain't going the right way, am I? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah, I kind of forgot what I forgot what did. Oh, you ready for fishing? Uh, why not? Do I show, do I show this? Um, no. No? No. Okay, I'm gonna this out too. I got it! What are you, is this? I caught an eel! Ah! What is this I caught? No. A casket? Something? No, it's no, whatever. Wow, this and is now a big one! Now I caught a trout! Okay, I've caught everything I need. Or everything I want anyway. Another massive turtle thing. So I can attack it. Damn it! I did it! I can't tell which is the front, which is the back. Yeah, I'd really like to know which is the front, which is the back, so I know when I'm going to attack it. So I'm going the right, 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 right way. Yeah? Yeah. It's good to know I'm going, I'm going the right way. Only one more enemy to fight. What's that? It's a good sign I don't, a sign I don't really need. That is easy, I can't do it from the front. That's not easy enough. Yeah. Oh, and I've made it to the other area I, I need to be. Destroy all this. And I head out. Looks like you've still got a ways to go. Oh, I've, I've got quite a bit of damage to fight. Now, that fox told me that you can't tell which is the front, which is the left with these things. Yeah, sometimes they don't have anything in them, but I just want to check if they do. But like, most thing I wouldn't need the things that they have, but it's just good, just good to check them. Do I need any of the things I find? Some you do, some you don't. Like, the stuff that I've been finding lately, do I need any of that? Some, yeah, the thing you found last time, you found last you didn't need. I don't know what to do. Please. Oh! This one. When, when, when um, Crow and um, William finished fighting, Crow said, Hey, am I getting paid to babysit this kid? And then William was like, I know, kid. <laughs> So in other words, no, uh, yeah, um, Crow's not getting paid to babysit William. He's not getting paid at all. Oh, my batteries are disconnected, hang on. I was just changing controllers. Oh, I was like, switch, 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 Down here. He's tiny. 
Yeah, when he was, uh, ever since he was a kid, because how short and how like how like short and how how like the, like how high her voice is. <laughs> we made it through. Hell yeah, we did. Time skip. I take it to Rain because he died in battle, so I just wanted to play his guys for a bit. Actually, now I say his guys and that. I just should. Yeah. Okay. What's this? A boss? Yeah. So this is the boss, I'll show it. I'm showing this because it's a boss. There's the shower. Yeah. Wow, it doesn't even do the damage off. Plus, it's half or half away already. Yeah, that is cool. Honestly, that's cool. I mean, that's cool. Do you think? Yeah. I see so. Yeah, I was just thinking something like that's just probably out of nowhere. I didn't even have to totally hit it with my Arcus. So cool, this feels tested a rousing success. Maybe it's just because I got Levy that it didn't seem all that tough. Your assistance was, was inval invaluable, glad you could take it along. Still, the only reach for always seems stronger than the ones before. But it's a real plan if you plan to keep exploring here. Oh, I agree. Still. There's no tremor this time. Huh? What tremor? I seem to report a strange red door showing up after the tremor last one. Huh? Really? That's not anything to this time, though. Well, since uh, we'll you're looking at the dead end, let's get out of here already. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, it's probably evening by now. Let's head out for the human eyes feel if anything that looks different, just in case. Okay, let's, let's head out here now to get out of here. Okay, let's Looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, it looks like storms are on, on the way. So Sharon Hunter turned up the tree after all. At this point, I shouldn't be really surprised. I guess it's just business as usual, usual this, this time. Nothing like the strange red door we found last month. Yeah, I kept looking on our way back just to be sure. Nothing really looked too conspicuous. 
Maybe there's another piece of inter internal logic at the old schoolhouse that caused the door to, to soon armor to appear. It seems likely. This is for what we know. Actually, that reminds me of something George said the other day. I saw him tell his strength in it. He still doesn't understand how things are to move in the first place. So, even George. Yeah, whatever technology was used to make that armor, he doesn't say anything like it. If George tells the details of it, I'll just something, nothing else out here. Out there. Huh, sounds kind of like Lemmy. I don't know how he moves around. Does it sound like you're losing any sleep over that, over that mystery? And now it's raining. Of course, I guess we stood around and for too long. You better head back so we can hear, so before we hear with, 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 with the full shower. Yes, that sounds best. Alright, we'll leave this to you for this later. Why are people going to think I'm talking about later? Because he's the main character, that's why. Yeah. Man, right that? Oh, okay. So this is the place that Gramps was talking about, huh? It does seem like there's going to be something here, but I don't think Force Alone is going to cut it. Million? Sorry, coming. Hey, you hang out with anyone? Uh, let's hang out. Well, I want to, I want to be up with uh, Lisa, so let's hang out with her. Where's she, where's she at? You can't. What? She's not a choice. Oh. Here with Fee, Marcus, uh, Tora. That's the idea. Let's hang out with Fee then. Okay. Who you say who I'm hanging out with, with the most, I'll end up with them. But we're end up with Lisa though. You can't, because she's not a choice. I wish I could though. Where is Fee? Where is Fee at? Apparently she's... I'll leave this out until I find her. Are those flowers Fee's raising? The downpour seems to... It might, like it seems like it might do more harm than good though. I'm sure the gardening club members are running over here right, right, right here right now but... Okay, okay, let's, let's see what I can do. First things first, I need materials. We can gather the materials from the storehouse and go to work on fortifying the flower bed. Well, Phoebe, have you figured on this? Time to get to work. This is gonna be easy though. Rain? Phoebe! Hey, yeah, except you to be here. You've got everything. You've got everything prepared. Well, I was passing by, so I figured, uh, Fee, why do you have an umbrella? Don't worry about it. Let's take care of the flower bed first. Will you help? You're, uh, you're unbelievable. Okay. Let's get this fixed as fast as possible. That should be fine. Can I take that to the least? A two. And that's why I was worried about you. Come on, let's get back to the main building. Okay. Has she got a cold? No, no. We need to have dry feet so you can get here. Let's do it. I guess I believe you ran all the way without an umbrella. What were you thinking? I was worried about the flowers. That's not an excuse to get, get yourself sick. The last thing I want for you is Lord to get worried or worried about you. And now, like, now that you two have made up, not to mention the rest of us. I know. You're really great for the firing. That's just fine by me. <laughs> Plus, they're just friendly family to me. I can't help but worry about everybody. Thanks. It's not very bad enough. The first should be a pain now. I'm sure they are. She's been blooming for more too long, too. So, can you hear the good work? Yep. I mean, first person to see them, and they do. It gives me something to look forward to. 
Hmm. Level, level up! Now what do I do? Get to the dorms. Oh, okay. I might end up there, there, then. After, uh, after the cutscene, of course. Yeah, after the cutscene, then they'll end the video there. Morning, I was able to avoid the worst of the downpour. I'm amazed you were able to tell a storm was coming that far in advance, though. <laughs> Chairman Arena takes a lot of business trips, so I'm used to keeping an eye on the weather. Never being caught unawares is just one of the maid's many responsibilities. I can't really picture any other maids holding themselves to such an unrealistic standard. I'll let you know when dinner is ready, so just wait in your room until then. I expect the meal will take a little longer to prepare than usual today. Well, I'll come. Looks like the rain must have stopped while I was inside. It's gotten pretty dark out, too. I'd better get back to the dorm. Oh, hello. Who's oh. this? You see. You wouldn't happen to be one of the Class 7 students from Thor's, would you? Out for a little late night shopping, are we? You could say that, but how did you know I'm from Class 7? <laughs> You're one of the favorite topics at our radio station, actually. There are plenty of people out there who want to know more about Thor's dashing guys and gals in red. Oh, you work at the radio station? Hold on. Your voice sounds so familiar. Oh, maybe you know me from the radio? <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. This summer's turning into a real scorcher, isn't it? Oh! To be with you, we're going to be broadcasting tonight from a park here in Trista. I already recognize that. <laughs> Ring any bells? I recognize that voice. Wait. I can't remember her name, though. Huh? Y you're Misty? That's the name Misty! From Abend time? That's not who she is. Who else could she be? You'll see. Bingo! If you, you guys must be know. Quite the avid listener, recognizing my voice so easily. If you guys know, put in the comments below. Glad to know I've got a faithful fan out there. Wow. I never figured I'd meet Misty herself, especially like this. <laughs> I always make sure to catch up in time. It helps me relax while I'm studying. <laughs> Thanks. But it sure is serendipitous, you know? Having a chance encounter like this, just after the rain's eased up. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't mention this on tonight's show. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that I really constitute a noteworthy topic for a radio broadcast. It's kind of weird. I only know her from oven time, but she seems just as friendly face to face. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're staring at me so intently. I feel <laughs> a little embarrassed. Um, well, forgive me if this sounds a little odd, but this isn't actually our first meeting, is it? If I'm not mistaken, we met once before. In a hotel in Heimdall. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I never figured anyone would actually catch on. Oh! The Azure Diva herself. No way! Vita Clotilde! Right you are once again. You are kidding! 
Honestly, even the people I work with at the radio station don't seem to have noticed, so I'm surprised you could tell. That makes two of us. I almost didn't say anything because it just seemed too implausible. But if you don't mind me asking, how did a star like you end up working at Radio Trista? <laughs> it's just a little something I do for fun on the side. Gotta spice life up a bit, right? The best part is, the people at the Opera House in Heimdall have no idea I come here to do my show every week. Did you know so don't that go before, tell Black Ops? Okay? No. It'll be our secret. Not the first time. Uh, of course. So, dream of it. you were just shocked to see the first time. Yeah. I'm amazed no one else has figured it out, though. It's not like you use a different voice when you're on the radio. Well, there's a little trick to it. <laughs> you're not the only one who was surprised, though. Huh? I had this feeling I'd seen you before, but I couldn't put my finger on it. What's she doing? Work. But it's you, isn't it? What was that supposed to see you Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Oven Time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and give my regards to those two, would you? She smells like lavender. The fragrance really suits her. So Vita Clotilde herself has been hosting a radio show in Trista. Even if I told them, I don't think they'd believe me. I'm a shop shop too. Oh, welcome back. Hey Emma. Oh, hey there Emma. Did you just get back too? Yeah. I just returned a short while ago. Were you out shopping? Yeah, Sharon asked me to go out and pick up a few things for dinner. Though I ended up taking a bit longer than I expected. Wait, do I smell lavender on you? Oh, this see. Is perfume, isn't it? How did it get onto you? Oh, right. I guess I must have soaked up the scent too. She did get pretty close. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, Reen. I can only hope the reason you ended up taking longer than expected isn't because you were... <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up. You've got the wrong idea, Emma. I just happened to bump into someone I know while I was out. That's all. Nothing scandalous. Nothing I'd be ashamed of. <laughs> I never said it was. Though you do seem strangely defensive for a man who has nothing to hide. She has a point. I wonder what would happen if Elise and the other girls were to catch wind of this. I swear, I just ran into someone I know after I left the store. Nothing happened. You just like raking me over the coals, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she, has, she has a cute laugh. Mm. Oh, nice to meet. Oh, Master Reed. I see you've returned. Were you able to get everything I asked for? I think so. Sure did. Let me bring it over. He's supposed to get away from him, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lavender. Huh. No, that's impossible. After eating supper, Dean started to give Sharon hands to the cooking. When he was ready, Eva sat down to enjoy a especially extravagant meal in celebration of Crown Million drawing past seven. We're going to need to read that just about the terrorist attack. Yeah, if you want, you can force me to read it. So, the West Samaria Trade Conference is just over a week away now. The building that tall is exactly what you'd expect from an economic powerhouse like Crossbell, too. <sighs> it's a big world out there. Still, we've got Milliam and Crow as classmates now. Who would have seen that coming? Crow opened up to us right from the start. No, I guess that's just Crow for you. Milliam's become way more attached to us than I thought she would, too. They were both able to form combat links with us right from day one. I had my concerns about how well they'd mesh with the class, but maybe I was worried for nothing after all. Tuffy Chin! Good evening, I'm your host, Misty. It's August 18th and we're winding down a busy day here at 9pm. I always said, you know, right now it's March. 20 something. <laughs> hey, looks like I'm not too late to catch this week's oven time. 
Seems like those hot summer days keep coming with no end in sight, doesn't it? But even this heat can't stop the momentum behind the West Amuria Trade Conference being held in Crossbell later this month. Prince Oliver and Chancellor Osborne will be in attendance for this watershed moment in international business. <laughs> Personally, I'm more interested in the view from the top of that famous new skyscraper the talks are being held in. In some news closer to home, you all have probably noticed the summer showers we're getting here in Trista. The rain's let up for now, but it's managed to push that nasty nighttime humidity right off the charts. It's nights like these I wish I could smuggle an ice-cold beer into the studio. And the director is chilling over there, drink in hand, mocking me. But you know what? Forget that guy. Anyway, for all you students out there, your summer vacation's probably wrapping up, so I hope you made the most of it. Wait, I forgot that summer vacation at the military academy has already come and gone. Whoops. Still, it's never too late to do something bold that'll keep your memories of this summer burning bright. Why does this listening to it? And what about you, Miss Misty? You're probably asking yourselves, well, you might want to sit down for this one. I have seen you. Yeah. fate had a romantic rendezvous in store for yours truly just on the way to the studio today. A tryst with a young man in a park after sunset. Droplets of rain clinging to the grass. I'll treasure the memory forever. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yep. Or I would, if I hadn't just made it up on the spot. Chuck it up to a dreamer's poetic license, I guess. Still, maybe one day I'll feel the thrilling rush of a summer love. Gotta keep the fire burning. <laughs> Wait, is she talking about what I ran into her earlier tonight? Yeah, she is. She's got quite the playful personality. Though somehow that doesn't come as too much of a surprise. <laughs> it's kind of weird thinking that I just met her on the street a couple hours ago. Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and give my regards to those two, would you? Those two? I didn't really think about it right then, but who was she talking about? She went really in court? Who no. she about? You'll find it later. Me, you won't ever. And the other night you call. You've arrived. Good to see you, boss. I flew by about a body bin. You have. Uh, you did? Well met, Comrade B. Comrade S. I see that you've finished all your preparations as well. Smooth as silk. Although you're the one who'll be taking center stage in our next operation, Comrade Who'd have thought you'd volunteer to go down the pavement and cross them? The Red Constellation are going to be there. I still think I'm the prime choice for this one. I disagree. As I can no longer rely on the power of the fort, it makes the most sense for me to go. Especially when you consider the very real possibility that we may have to accept a necessary sacrifice for the greater good. Okay, that is the way. best way for us to achieve what we desire. Are you serious? Oh, you really are too morose for your own good. I could say the same of both of you. Why else would you have willingly plunged yourselves into a struggle like this to begin? <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> you got us there. I see we've all gathered. Comrade C. Fashionable lake, but worth the wait. It makes it a full house. I appreciate the gathering, comrades. The wheels have been set in motion. There is no place for hesitation. No time for the feedback. We seek all the results. I couldn't agree more. No objections here, either. Goes without saying. That said, I can ask you at once. Comrade you. are you certain this is the path you would walk? <laughs> my heart itself beats with the ideals of the Liberation Front. If my life should see its end in Crossfell, so that tyrant must be stopped from creating the vile dystopia he seeks. Through the Crossfell. If through our efforts we or anyone anywhere succeeds in that aim, we will have victory. Then you will. May the goddess, or perhaps powers less fair, attend you. When this is over and our victory won, let us toast our success together in the Imperial Cavern. Indeed.
Verma. My comrades. Verma? He doesn't know I'm this. Don't person. tell them, tell me after this video. I understand. Okay. Losing your place in the world for doing what's right. And throwing yourself into the eye of the storm. It ain't something I could do. Different paths brought each of us here. But the world we travel now is the same. Let us depart, Comrade Ness, Comrade V. We each have our own part to play in the ones to come. Of course. Just leave it to us. I guess that's it, that's it for this video, guys. Leave a comment below if you want to play some more of this. Please subscribe to the notifications so you never see any of my videos. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in, um, I'll see you tomorrow, actually. No, no, no. Wednesday, sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you on Wednesday. Until then, peace and lights out.